My name is Lori Vidian. I am the Respect Life Minister at St. James Catholic Church. Um, this past month of the month of October is Respect Life Month. Um, the, we start off the month with the life chain. Um, they have a life chain nationwide. It's uh, throughout our community too. We had one in Conway um, where we had about 50 people that showed up and we stand on the side of the road and we get a great response from people passing by. Um, it's a wonderful, prayerful event. We uh, set up crosses for the youth group. Um, they participated in, in putting up the 300 crosses. Uh, the 300 crosses represent the 3,000, almost 3,000 um, babies that are lost to abortion every month, or e every day. Is it every day? <laughs> the three, 300 crosses represent the 3,000 babies that are lost to abortion every day in this country. Um, we have had a a baby shower that collected lots of um, baby supplies for local um, local charities uh, that we are going to distribute among um, uh, in the area um, in the next uh, few days. Um, I have not always been pro-life. Um, what made me become pro-life was uh, having getting pregnant the first time and I had a miscarriage and there was no doubt in my mind that that child was a child and I even though I miscarried at um, eight to ten weeks I knew that I had a child growing inside of me and that changed my entire view on pro-life and I became very active in the pro-life ministry after a priest at my old church said that if you are not actively working against abortion, then you are accepting it and supporting it. So I, at that moment, said I need to do something to be more active in pro-life. And so the opportunity came up in St. James to be a representative on the board of the Grand Strand Citizens for Life, and I jumped at it. I told the priest that I was born for this, and that's what made me become more active in the pro-life ministry. Um, Father Oscar and I are really looking to expand the pro-life ministry. If you are interested, please contact me. Uh, my number is in the bulletin. Um, and we would love to hear some ideas that you might have to, um, to grow this ministry. Uh, it is our mission um, in January to send the youth group to, uh, to D.C. for the March for Life. We want to continue to do that every year. Um, so please, if you're interested in um, becoming part of the pro-life ministry, contact me. 